Hi Xavier, it's your tutor me tutor Andrea here to read you another story. Uh, school is almost over for the year, so I uh, hope that you're enjoying this collection of stories that you can read throughout the summer. This one's a special one, uh, so I want you to read along. Um, you'll notice it's uh, there's more words on the page this time, so uh, just take your time and follow along and take note of the words that you know and the words that you don't know and um, read it a few times over um, with me and maybe uh, as you do you'll begin to recognize more of the uh, these important words so this one is called what can you do and it's by Anne Hearth what can you do by Anne Hearth the tall oak tree was quiet. He felt the light wind in his leaves. He felt the breeze flow into the hole in his trunk. Look at me, Riley Rabbit said. I can jump a million times and I never get tired. Riley patted the tree. What can you do? The oak tree was silent. Look at me, Stella Squirrel squeaked. I can leap through the branches. I never fall down. Stella peeked into the hole in the tree's trunk. What can you do? The oak tree was silent. Look at me, Brady Bird sang. I can fly high and low. I can travel for miles. Brady pecked a bug from the bark of the tree. What can you do? The oak tree was silent. The light wind grew stronger. Rain fell from the sky. Ryla, St Riley, Stella, and Brady were wet and cold. The oak tree spoke. It is warm and dry in my trunk. Come inside. The small animals scurried into the oak tree. It smelled sweet and the ground was soft. I cannot jump, the tree said sadly. I cannot leap. I cannot fly. Riley patted the inside of the warm tree trunk. No, but you can protect your friends, and that is the best thing of all. What a nice story. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. So the first question is, what can the oak 